please. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Ahmed Fathi. Uh, I'm a correspondent for a various number of Arabic language news media. Um, and being that said, I'll focus on the um, Mediterranean, Middle East area, the Arab Spring countries. Uh, women uh, uh, almost uh, represent uh, half of the population in this uh, part of the world. Uh, depending on which part they come from, they are still very active. I definitely appreciate your uh, intention to bridge between rights and development. But let me bring some uh, graphic examples from the region, and I would, I would appreciate your input and your vision on how to deal with it. Uh, we have uh, now, violence has been used as a tool of political oppression, as we have seen in Syria against women. Absolutely. Uh, we have seen uh, child uh, brides in Yemen. We have seen uh, an emergence uh, of a new term which is called sex jihad in Tunisia, although the President Marzouki is denying it uh, completely. Uh, we have seen uh, uh, the deposed uh, Islamist government in Egypt uh, of the Muslim Brotherhood used violence against uh, p uh, women uh, political activists. Uh, how can the CADAW operate in this part of the world due to its uh, not only a proximity to Europe, uh, but also to the impact and the message it sends worldwide? What's your vision uh, to deal with these uh, issues? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you are right. It's a, it's a very key issue, and uh, we have in this part of the world uh, wonderful women, very powerful women, and in the same time, new forms of violences. And uh, as I said, it uh, the, the political transition as a uh, conflicts or other events uh, are very hard for women. Generally, they are always uh, still, they remain the, the, first, uh, the first victims. Uh, in this part of the world, we, we have taken statement, uh, um, of course, to condemn uh, any form of violence. And the uh, last example was uh, about Saria, of, of course. And, uh, but we see uh, a little bit more in the south, uh, in Africa, in the uh, um, Republic du Congo, we see that there is specific uh, extreme violent violations of uh, women rights uh, during this conflict. So, uh, and we can speak also about trafficking of human rights. Uh, that is a, a huge phenomena today in the world. So we see that, uh, and thank you very much for your question, because in the, the meantime, we see progress and we see uh, uh, real tragedy. Um, CEDAW Committee has participated um, last month to a very, very important meeting in Egypt. Uh, gathering uh, a very, very important number of women about precisely uh, the implementation of our convention. And uh, I take this opportunity to recall that our convention um, must be implemented whatever the context. It's very important to say it. And um, we, we tried to help uh, um, as uh, uh, strongly as uh, we can uh, the, the governments today uh, and the uh, different stakeholders to preserve the fundamental rights of uh, women. It's very important because um, uh, we cannot accept any backlash. I know that it's not easy. But uh, I hope that uh, in this part of the world, there is a, a lot of partnerships between North and, and South. And the, the issue of women is more and more a, a main item of these different uh, uh, international meetings. So I hope very strongly that uh, in the different uh, negotiations and also in the 
international development policies, the question of women will be a priority. We consider, and I say that very officially, that we have to respect each religion, each tradition, each culture, but we have also a sort of uh, non-negotiable, fundamental uh, rights. And uh, we must be very, very clear on that. So uh, it's our position, and I think that uh, uh, in each part of the world, uh, it must be our um, ethic.